how can you take all of the duplicates out of a column and then display it in a single string? Hello, I'm Philip Burton from idodata.com. I've got on the screen select star from sys objects and there are these various types. And I want to see, okay, what types are there? There's S, U, V, S, Q, I, T. Um, have I missed any out? There's a P at the boss. I don't know. So how can I get a list of just these types? Now I should warn you, this video starts fairly simply and then gets more complicated as we go through. So how to get this type, but only have one entry per variation? Well, I can do that two different ways. Select distinct. So that will get rid of any duplicates. So let's have a look at this. So we've just got S, Q, S, I, T, P, U, and V. And another way is by group by, and then the column name. So even though group by is usually used with aggregations, some count, min, max, and so on, you can just use it by itself to reduce duplicates. Okay, so far, so good. However, what I want is one string. So I want it to say something like this. And this is when we get a bit more complicated. Okay, so let's just go back to our example. And in this video, I'll be showing you three different ways of doing this. This first way is only valid for SQL Server 2017 and above. So 2017, 2019, 2022. So here I have a column with just type. Okay, so far so good. I can use the new function called string underscore ag. So this combines together a column into a single string. But you have to say how you want it to be combined. So if I gave it blank, an empty string afterwards, then it would just give me s, 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 and so on. If I put in a comma and a space, then it would say s comma, s comma, s comma, and so on. Okay, so so far so good. But I want to get rid of the duplicates. Okay, maybe I can put distinct in here. So let's put distinct at the left hand side and see what happens. Nope, unfortunately, that gives me all distinct combinations of, well, just this one particular cell. And how many combinations of this one cell are there? Well, one. So that's not going to work and group is not going to work for a similar thing. So let's see if I could put distinct in the brackets and immediately can see, no, I can't, it's an error. Okay, so what have I got left? Well, I've got to combine this with this distinct. So what I need to do is to do it in two stages. So first of all, here is my distinct. So that gives me all of my values. I need to put this into a CTE, a common table expression. Basically, I create a temporary table from this. So I say, with, and I give it a name, so I'll call it my table as, and then in brackets, I have my query. Now, great news about this is I can still execute my query in the middle. So now I can say select star from my table. So let's see if this works, and it does. So what I can now do is put this string ag in here. So I've got, first of all, all of the distinct types, and I now can manipulate it into one row. So S, Q, S, I, T, P, U, V. Now you might be wondering two things. First of all, why are there all these red underlines? After all, this is working fine. If you have a CTE, so you have the word with, then you need a semicolon before the previous query or you could type the word go. It needs to be rounded off a bit more strongly than SQL Server normally needs. The second question might be, okay, how do I get it in alphabetical order? So I, T, P, S, S, Q, U, V. You might be going, ah, that's easy. What I do is order by type. I put that in the middle. So if I run this, you can see here is my type in alphabetical order. Okay, so that should work. Let's run this and, oh, the order by clause is invalid 
in common table expressions. Can't do that. Or can I? Let's just read the rest of it. Unless top offset or for XML is also specified. And I'm going to concentrate on the first one of these, unless top is specified. So what I can do is write the word top and well, there are six items. So I can say top six. Now I've got to do that before the word distinct, apparently. Right. So does that work? Well, that is working. If I now run this, will this work? Yes. I T P S S Q U and V. Right. I haven't got a column name, so let's add one. So this is my answer. So that's fine. But secondly, I've got all of these spaces. How do I get rid of these spaces? Well, because we're using SQL Server 2017 or above, because if we're not doing that, we can't use string ag in the first place. Let's see if I can use the SQL Server 2016, 2017 and above formula trim. And yes, you can see it works. So I have got it trimmed. All the trim does is it takes the space from the beginning, the space from the end and gets rid of it. Alternatively, I could put trim in here. So let's have a look and see if trim works. Well, it doesn't work at the moment because order by items must appear in the select list if select distinct is specified. So previously I had order by type. Now I've got select trim type. So I need trim type in the order by. So will that work now? That will work. And will everything else work? No. And the reason is because we are now using a function for our first column, it no longer has a name, just like this didn't have a name when it didn't put as my answer. So I now need to say, as type. So now if we run this, it works. Personally for me, because this is a lot of extra work, I prefer just to have the trim in the string ag function. Just reduces the amount of typing I have to do. Of course, if you have to manipulate the values in this select distinct, then you would have to do it there. So if you had to add letters or do something else other than trim, maybe extract parts of it using substring, then you would have to do it there. Now, just one question. I've got top six. What if I got that wrong and got top three? I wouldn't have all of the values. Well, the good news is there is no maximum that you can put in with top. I suspect if you go really high, then it might start going, um, no thanks. But you can see, even with this silly number, it's still fine. The alternative is to say top 100%. And if I run that, you can see that it gets me the answer. However, it hasn't given me the answer in the right order. So that is why quite often you will see such ridiculous tops inside CDEs simply because it just works. Whereas if you have got something else like the percent top 100% and then select that, it might work, but sometimes it doesn't. So I would stick to top and a very big number if I were you. Here uh, you can see we've got a big int limit. So that gives us a maximum of this number. So as long as you have got no more than 18 nines, you'll be fine because this figure actually has 19 digits. So you could put an even put an eight at the beginning and it'll be fine. So in this video, we've had a look at how we can use the SQL Server 2017 and above function string ag to combine a column into a single string. However, it's a bit more complicated if you want to get unique values. So you have to use select distinct and you may need to use it in a CTE, depending on what your data is in. 
In the next video, we're going to have a look at two other ways of doing this, much more complicated, I'm sorry to say, but useful if you don't have SQL Server 2017 or above. Now, if you're going, way, what are CTEs? Then you might want to have a look at some of my other videos on this YouTube channel. Or if you want something a bit more comprehensive and structured, then please have a look at my Udemy course, where I go through various things, including the CTE statement and the WIV statement. In about 30 hours of videos, we take you from the very beginning and really develop your TSQL knowledge. And if you haven't got 30 hours and want something a bit shorter, then please have a look at my other two Udemy courses. So thank you very much for watching this. If you like this, then please click on the like button. And why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. Thank you very much for watching this and keep learning.